Hello and welcome to my training video, Arbiter Excellence. My name is Mevany Biggins and I am a seasoned music educator and private clarinet instructor. For the past 10 years, I have honed and strengthened my teaching practices to help hundreds of students achieve performance mastery. And today I am here to help you perform your best on the clarinet. The purpose of this video is to provide you with helpful strategies to correct or improve your embouchure. At the end of this video, you will have the tools to establish a firm and stable embouchure to produce the proper tones for the clarinet. Best Practices For directors, this training video can be shown to your students as a supplementary guide during your sectionals or during your one-on-one -on -one rehearsals. For students, you can watch each video and use the corrective strategies to diagnose problems in your students' playing. Each training video is short and sweet so that you can get to view these tips and get right back to working. Now, let's begin. Embouchure Formation The embouchure is the most important foundational technique that a student can learn. Here are a few steps to a basic clarinet embouchure. Steps to a good embouchure. First, separate your teeth slightly while keeping the lips together, like this. Next, shape the lips with the syllable e u, while keeping your teeth separated and the corners of your mouth firm and steady. Now, let me show you something. Do not do this. You want to focus on keeping the corners of your mouth firm and drawing them inward. You can check by lightly pressing your finger against the corner of your mouth like this. Next, make sure that your embouchure formation is fixed and unmoving. Check out your lower lip. Do you see a lot of wrinkles in them? Then you're on the right track. If it looks like this, then you need to go back and say e ooh again and hold that position. Use a mirror if necessary. Now, to determine how much lower lip goes over the teeth, First, use your finger to feel the line that separates the lower lip from the chin. Once you find the line, raise or lower the jaw until you find the best fit, like this. Maintain this position and insert the mouthpiece into the mouth, letting the mouthpiece rest onto the lower lip. Contract all corners of the mouth around the mouthpiece, letting no air escape. The upper teeth rest on the top of the mouthpiece, about a half inch from the end. The lower teeth support the lower lip. Please do not bite. This will not create a great playing experience for you. If you have maintained the embouchure formation throughout this process, you will realize that the chin is already in a firm, flat position. Do not force the chin downward or bunch up your chin like this. First sounds, placing the reed on the mouthpiece. Position the reed on the mouthpiece. Check to make sure the top and bottom are centered on the mouthpiece. The reed is in proper formation if you can see a thin hairline of black when the tip of the reed is pressed against the tip of the mouthpiece. Next, place the ligature with the screws loosened about halfway down on the mouthpiece. Finally, keeping the reed securely in place, tighten the screws of the ligature to the point that the ligature is holding the reed securely. Mouthpiece Barrel Exercise duck calls. Take the mouthpiece and barrel and place it inside your newly formed embouchure. Using a standard but fast moving breath, produce a tone by blowing into the mouthpiece. Do not use your tongue to start the to tone.
check your embouchure formation in a mirror to make sure that your mouth doesn't change when blowing into the mouthpiece. Continue practicing with the mouthpiece and barrel until a steady, natural tone of F-sharp concert emerges and can be maintained for at least 10 seconds. Like this. Common faults and corrective strategies. The amount of lip over the mouthpiece is extremely important in forming a strong embouchure. Students with very full lips may need to have less lip over the lower teeth. Students with thin lips may need to have more lip over the lower teeth. The criteria is the quality of the tone produced. The amount of mouthpiece depends on your facial characteristics, mouthpiece, and read to determine how much mouthpiece you place in the mouth. Using your ear, move the mouthpiece in and out like this. You make these adjustments to find the best position in the mouth to support the reed. Type of mouthpiece. Warped, chipped, and low quality mouthpieces have no place when it comes to producing a great sound on the clarinet. One tip is to go to your local music store and ask to try out several mouthpieces until you have the best foot. My personal recommendation for student level clarinet mouthpieces are Van Doren B45, Van Doren 5RV, Van Doren M13, Van Doren M30. You would want to play several notes in the lower, middle, and upper register on each mouthpiece until you find a match that gives you a tone with great support, plays in tune, and is easily controlled. Biting. Biting the reed is a common problem within young players. Too much pressure against the reed restricts the vibration and produces a thin, stuffy tone with no body, you reduce this pressure immediately by opening the jaw, thus freeing the tone. The position of the lower jaw in relation to the lower lip must stay the same throughout the entire range of the instrument. Chin Muscles Beginners tend to suffer from failing to keep the chin muscles firm. Instead of firming, they like to bunch them up. And as a result, bite instead. Note that this habit is extremely difficult to correct once it becomes habitual. The only solution is to reteach embouchure formation and establish a new one. Escaping air. When air escapes from one or both corners of the mouth, there is a clear problem with the formation of the embouchure. Sometimes escaping air is a result of the lower lip support of the reed. It can also be a relaxed upper lip. Continue to keep working on creating a circular seal around the mouthpiece, engaging your corners so that your facial muscles can strengthen. Puffing cheeks. Lack of support in the cheek muscles results in puffing of the cheeks. Puffed cheeks are also frequently found in connection with air escaping out of the mouth corners. Air pockets under lips. Air under one or both of the lips lessens the support of the lips around the mouthpiece resulting in tonal loss. Go back to the E, O syllable and continue working on your duck calls until you eliminate the air pocket. Reeds. The strength of the reed will have an effect on the embouchure. Stiffer reeds require more support from the bottom lip and more air control. As a result, the student may bite on the mouthpiece. A reed that is too soft plays flat and will also encourage biting when the student attempts to play in tune. Make sure the reed that you are using is a well-adjusted reed that responds easily and without strain. Embouchure development exercises. Beginner. Keep a steady forward stream of air throughout the exercise like this. Do not move the lips or jaw as you ascend upward and strive to produce a focused and clear sound at all times. Intermediate. Playing in the clarion or middle register on the clarinet, each note should have the same clarity as the note before, like this.
play each exercise in as few breaths as possible and hold the last note for as long as you can in tune. Remember, do not change your mouth or jaw to change notes. Advanced. These are extremely difficult to execute if you haven't mastered your clarinet embouchure. Make sure the air speed is consistent, fast, and inflexible as you change notes. Keep the tongue as high as possible. Mastery. This exercise requires a lot of air and tone control. Try to perform each line in as few breaths as possible and don't break the tone while changing intervals. For certain intervals, use the half hold technique to ensure a smooth transition like this. Exercises and interval playing. This exercise really solidifies your tone and establishes a clear focused sound as you play through each series. Again, focus on a smooth transition as you cross the break, not halting the air, but pushing through the resistance like this. Embouchure development exercises. The approach to this exercise is relatively simple. Keep the tongue high and forward in the mouth and keep your air consistent and fast. Also, when pressing the register key, do not allow the note to pop like this. Here is a variation of the same exercise involving more use of the right hand. Keep in mind that you want to use the same tips in the first exercise tongue high and forward, and firm arbiter grip to keep the air steady and forward. Thank you so much for watching my video, Embouchure Excellence. Remember that perfect practice makes perfect performance and small wins turn into big accomplishments. Thank you for watching.